I came across this issue when recording my first video for MacNuggets.ca. I used uh, a microphone in my computer, and so the sound was recorded as mono, but I wanted it to play back as stereo when viewers were listening to it. And unfortunately, iMovie 09 doesn't have an easy way to do this. So what I'm going to show you today is how I got around the problem. So the first step is to load uh, the video you want into your project and then right click anywhere on the video and detach the audio. Now we're going to click on share and export using QuickTime. So I'm going to save it as to stereo and I'm going to keep it as AIF. It actually uh, doesn't make a difference. You can see you have sound AIF, AU, or WAVE. You can really pick uh, either of the three. AIF was the default selected. So I'm going to click Save. And this part could take a while depending on the length of your project. This is only a seven second clip, so it's fairly fast. So on my desktop now, the 2Stereo.AIF uh, has been saved. I'm going to right click on it. And I'm going to open it with a program called Audacity. And there's a link below the video to this program. It's free, and it's a sound editor for the Mac operating system. So I'm going to open it in Audacity. And you can see here's our sound clip opened in our Audacity. The first thing I'm going to do is you can see that the two, there's two channels, and the top one has sound, and the bottom one doesn't. I'm going to switch it from stereo to a split stereo track. I'm going to click the X to delete the uh, empty track. I'm also going to change it to the left channel. Now I'm going to click anywhere in the clip and then Apple A which selects all the sound. Control D which duplicates it. I'm going to make this clip the right channel and then click back at the top and make it back to a stereo channel. You want to be able to export it now so I'm going to export it as a wave to stereo.wave on my desktop, that's fine. I'll save it. You can see now it's appeared on my desktop. So what we're going to do here is click on the audio clip that we detached, hit the delete key which is going to delete it, and I'm going to take this to stereo.wave, I'm going to drag it into my project and drop it, and now we have uh, stereo sound for the project where we used to have mono sound. 